start with tooling, pattern making, uh, mold making, and then we'll go on to actual product um, production, whether it's a boat or small parts or anything like that. We use all the materials available in the uh, composites industry, whether it's glass, uh, carbon fiber, aramid fibers, and a variety of different resin systems, whether it's epoxy or styrene based. And we can build many things with that stuff. We'll start with a small nine foot dinghy here that's all glass, uh, styrene based, and then we'll move on to some kayaks that are styrene based resin, also sprayed gel coat. And then in the end, we'll do some carbon fiber um, epoxy work and progress on to uh, pre preg in the composites program, we use a whole bunch of different types of tools and materials. Uh, the tools we use vary from small hand tools to larger power tools. We also utilize the mill room that the wood boat builders use. We also have a lot of materials and equipment that we use for vacuum infusion, which is a lighter, faster, more efficient way to build our boats. We try and um, instill the values for inventory and control and whatnot and keep the students aware of what things cost. We track all of the materials that go through our program here and um, I put it in the students' hands so that they get familiar with that process when they get out into the industry. The last few weeks of the school year for the composite students is mainly focused on their personal project. It's their final project. They can choose anything they want to build. It just has to be out of composite materials. They have to work the project from the beginning planning stages and they have to come up with a list of materials. They have to keep track of their time. They have a build schedule and it has to be done in a certain amount of time, graduation, so that they can finish the course with a, the with a project. We've had students in the past do things like unicycles, bicycles, violins, skis, paddle boards, all sorts of different, all sorts of different ideas. As far as I know, this is one of the only places in the country that does this kind of work. Uh, we introduce you to the composites industry, not necessarily just the boat building side of it. The skills that you learn here, layout, lofting, just those day and day hand skills that you learn here are transferable to almost any um, technology problem. A popular combination here for the associate's degree is composites and design. Um, we've had quite a few students here go through that and um, they have ended up in some design houses more on the engineering side of it, but with those hand skills and knowing the materials, it, it crosses over quite well. You don't have to come to the school with any prerequisites. There are students that we have who've never been on boats, who know nothing about boats and still come to the program and do extremely well. We encourage students to come and see the program, kind of do a tour, see what goes on in the shops and how things run so that they know what they'll experience when they get here.